Hey everybody, this is Try Dying to Live here playing Kerbal Space Program. Um, we are doing part three of our three part series on the new features in point 18. Today we're going to do the orbital maneuver planning system. Now you heard me say it right, planning system. It doesn't do the orbital maneuvers for you. It's not mech jeb, it's not an autopilot. It just lets you know which direction and for how long you should be burning to achieve your goal. And, and, it also means that you have to do and perform the actions yourself. So it's a neat little neat little thing to help you out without actually doing all the work for you. Today we're going to do two missions. One is to the moon and one is to Minmus. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and uh, show you the orbital planning th uh, system. So I'm going to choose select uh, map view here. I'm going to find the moon. Here it is. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to say select as a target. Now obviously um, we're not going to be intercepted at all because we're, you know, our, our orbit's too small. And you all can s also can see here our ascending node is three degrees, our descending node is minus three degrees. You're not sure about this yet. I'm going to explain it in a moment. It's going to be very important, not now, not for the moon mission, but for the Minmus mission. It's going to be very, very important to keep track of these two. But for right now, we're not going to worry about them, all right? So now I look at this moon here and I say, hmm. I think the moon will probably be around this area, just for my guessing. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna try. Uh, let's see here. Let's 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 try uh, over here. So I'm gonna click on my orbital um, circle here. So if I zoom in here, uh, you can see a little blue dot kind of appears. Um, and you also can see if I click here, it says 12 minutes and 21 seconds. This means I've got uh, 12 minutes and how many ever seconds until I'm going to do this maneuver. This means I need to plan. Uh, be able to plan and to execute it within this time frame. Uh, for example, that means um, if I were to click here, and it says add a maneuver in 43 seconds, and I think it's going to take me four minutes to plan this maneuver, it's not going to work out. I'm going to fly past my window. Uh, but over here where we want to click, uh, at about 11 minutes now, 12 minutes now, uh, we've got plenty of time. So we've got this little kind of cross thing with all these little icons on it. Uh, it's kind of hard to figure out at first, but you realize, hey, I've seen these things before. Look, here's my prograde marker, and this looks very similar, and this looks just like my retrograde marker. Hey, this means I want to fly towards prograde, and this says I want to fly away from prograde. And look, this is 90 degrees from prograde toward the planet. This is 90 degrees away from the planet. And look, look, this is great for orbital plane change maneuvers. So this is orbital up, and this is orbital down. Hey, this makes a little, little more sense. So basically what we do is we're going to pull these. We're going to click on them and pull them out, and we're going to say we want to... Um, plan a maneuver that does, that what happens if I do this? What will happen? If I, for example, let's say if I want to speed up at this point, what's going to happen? Oh look, my orbit's going to expand. And you could say, well of course I knew that. But yeah, you're just saying, what happens if I do this? How how much, how, how far, you know, how much delta V am I going to have? And you watch here, this number here is actually going to increase because this is the amount of delta V we're going to need. Oh look at that. It's going to take me this much delta V. Oh to have an intercept. Hey, and there's a very basic intercept. Before I before I catch it, I'm going to slow down just for a second here and show you something else. Um, do you see this marker here? And you can sort of see it here. This this blue hash and this blue hash. This is closest approach. This basically gives you kind of a marker to say this is approximately um, this is this is a starting point. So I could say, well, I want to kind of pull my orbit um, around this way. And so I could maybe let's see what does this one do. And you can see there, it's kind of pulling this up this way. And it actually, let me pull it back so I can continue. I want my markers. There we go. So I can continue to pull this this way. And it kind of, I'm kind of making my markers go closer. This one's really simple. The moon's pretty easy to get to. Um, but let's go ahead and expand this out. And so there we have our intercept. I don't want to go that fast. In fact, I actually want to go this way a little bit more. Um, let's do this. Because I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get something a little better. Um... Yeah, I'm not doing so well. Um, you know what? I want to actually burn so that I'm, I'm going to catch it a little sooner. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to right click on this. It gives me a little X. I can cross that out. All right. So now instead of here, I'm going to try it here. Now I've got seven minutes to plan this maneuver, but it's a pretty easy maneuver. So we can do it anyway. We'll just accelerate. Whoa. And oh, too far. Let's see here. Is that too far? Let's see. What happens if I slow down? Now I need to go farther. 
Okay. Oh, you can see closest approach. Uh, maybe that wasn't the best thing. Maybe I sh maybe I messed up, but that's okay because I can still slow it down. And I saw that intercept there. It's a pretty bad intercept. Um, so I can see this, and I say, you know what? Maybe where I had it before was right. So I'm going to right click again, hit X. No, I don't want to do that. Um, and pick my spot again. Try this one here. And so sometimes where you burn is the most important part. Whoa. Too much. Too much delta V. Um, but in this case, you know, it's not really matters. We could burn several places and still make it. Um, and so let's go ahead and um, look at some of the other things. So we've got our, our orbital maneuver planned. All right. Now I look down here and I see estimated burn time, 14 seconds, node and T minus 7 minutes, 42 seconds. This node in T is one of the most important things. This node in T minus 7, this says this is our window for um, our, our burn. You know, this is where, where, this is when we'll be at the right position to do this maneuver. Um, if you ever see like an old, you know, a space movie and you see them and they're like, you know, we're going to burn for, you know, 3.2 seconds on my mark. And they're like, 3, 2, 1, mark. And they're like, mark. And so like they fire up their engines right when they say mark, and they stop you know, right when that burn time's done. Well, this is a very similar thing. You're burning at the exact time for the exact amount of burn. So it says, in seven minutes, we're going to burn for 14 seconds, or 820 meters, 0.5 meters per second, I should say. 820.5 meters per second. So let's go ahead and uh, let's zoom in here, and let's, let's speed up time and so that we can knock our time down here. Three minutes, two minutes, one minute. All right, so we got uh, about 30 seconds here. So the next thing I need to do is, <coughs> excuse me, getting a little flimmy. All right, so the next thing I need to do is I need to find, hey, look at this, this blue dot right here. This is my marker, this blue kind of uh, crosshair. This is my marker that says this is the direction you picked to burn it toward. So I'm going to select it. I can see my time's going down, eight. Let's see here, make sure my my thing is ready. Okay, seven, four, three, two, one, burn. So here we go, we're gonna burn, and the projected burn time is actually not 15 seconds, it's actually 40 se 45 seconds. So it was probably calculating it on my old engine, uh, which was much larger. So um, probably I should have burned a little bit sooner so that I could get my burn time on both sides. Um, you know, so I could burn, you know, 30 seconds before mark and 30 seconds after mark. Uh, but this is okay. Um, you know, so we're not going to count down 14 seconds. It's going to burn, you know, for 20 more seconds. It's calculating out. You can see here's our apoapsis is coming out. I've got 200 and some odd, thing, uh, some odd meters per second. And if you notice, as I burn, oop, am I out of fuel? Yep, that's okay. Poof. There we go. That's going to, that went a lot faster. Okay. As I burn, um, that little blue thing is gonna, the little blue dot's gonna start moving away, especially towards as I get low on, whoop, so uh, on uh, meters per second remaining. And that just means that's just fixing inaccuracies in my burn. So that's a handy little thing. To keep in mind that as I run, as I run low on meters per second, that, uh, oh, so there we go. There's our intercept. It's not quite. L it's not quite what we had planned, but it's good enough. It works out for us. Um, we can actually click on this again, and since we're past it, it only gives us a chance, opportunity to delete it. So we delete it. We don't need another maneuver, and this puts us on an intercept course. So basically, what we're get, what what the gist of this is, um, is you you select where you want to burn. You know, you, where you want to make your your orbital change at. You click. You're going to say, I would like. Well, I want to go this far, this fast, this direction, um, and so forth. Now the moon's a very easy one because there's no orbital plane changes. However, Minmus, which we'll do next, does have orbital plane changes, which makes it much, much, much more difficult. Um, but hopefully this gives you a nice head start, kind of what we're going to do. Now we're going to do Minmus now. I'm going to reset, change things up, um, and I'll be right back. We have reset the ship. We are ready to do our Minmus mission. Let's look at Minmus out here. Of course, first thing we need to do is set it as our target. That's important. And now I look here and I say, mm, I think the place where I want to burn towards it is um, probably I want to. I let's try to intercept around. 
Uh, probably around this area is where, well, yeah, prob yeah, actually probably around this area. So let's do, let's click here. Oops, that's some <laughs> the moon's orbit. So let's click here on our, our maneuver, uh, and we'll do our maneuver here. However, I'm going to look and show you something real quick here. Um, let me get rid of that real fast. Um, if you notice, there's this line here. This is ascending and descending node. The reason why this is important, and it's not important on the moon mission so much as us, is on this mission, is because we have an orbital plane issue here. You see how they um, crisscross? You see this one goes this way and ours goes flat? Well, the reason why this, uh, this is an issue is because we can only intercept, you know, we can we can intercept here and on the other side we can't intercept here without changing or or our orbital plane. So we have a couple options. One option is to just try to move our orbital plane so that we intercept, you know, briefly. So like, you know, or we'll try to like hit it right here on our orbital or, or you know where it intersects at. Um, the other option, which is the far easier option, is just to change our orbital plane. It's kind of inefficient, but it doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do. Um, is we're going to watch this ascending and descending node here because wherever this is, this is where we do our orbital plane change at. So these markers here are very important because it tells us where the best place to burn up to ascend or down to descend. So uh, we're going to have to keep a track of these um, because we're going to need them. All right, so we decided we we're going to do this. Uh, and so we're going to do a multi stage planning. All right. So the first thing is we're going to speed up, accelerate out here. Whoa. I don't want to go too fast. Passing the moon up. All right. All right. So obviously we are, it looks like we're good, but we're way off because it's way down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next uh, either ascending or descending node. I'm going to choose to man do a maneuver there. And I see, hmm. We need to go down, or we're, I should say we're going down. So we're going to pull this guy up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You could have done that if you wanted to do that on the first try. That's beautiful. That is a thing of beauty. So you can see here, uh, and I could probably even slow this down just a little bit. I probably need to speed it up. <laughs> Anyways, so basically what we did here is we planned a multi-stage thing. The first one is going to... Uh, you know, pull it, push us out the farthest, and the other one is just going to do the orbital change while we're doing our, you know, our adjustment. So, how do we do this? How, how, you know, I can see it on the map, but how do you actually execute this? Well, you do it the exact same way. So let's let's go ahead and execute this this maneuver. It's 19 minutes and 49 seconds out. So let's let's speed up time until we get there. Oh, I can only go so fast, so that's all right. 11 minutes out, Tim. You know, exciting, waiting, watching YouTube. This is this is a whole you know 10 seconds. You could be petting a your dog or something, or you know, kissing your mom, telling your telling your mom you love her. Have you done that today? Seriously, if you haven't done that, pause the video. I won't mind. Go tell your mom you love her. Have you done it yet? All right. But anyways. Let's turn our SAS on. We're going to burn in 15 seconds. Uh, I'm going to burn a little early because it's going to take me a minute to do all this delta V. Um, usually, I like if I, if I you know, say, say for example, um, I have a minute burn time. Ideally, I get, ideally, actually, what the, the goal you want to do is, you know, if you have a, you know, 800 meters per second of delta V, you want to make that instantaneous. You want to produce 800 meters per second of delta V at that exact moment. But you can't really do that. So probably the second best thing you could do is to provide 30, you know, 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other side. Let's say if you have a minute burn time. So, you know, 50-50 split it. Whoa. All right. I just ran out of uh, fuel. Or not fuel. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it would be fuel. My stage ran out. All right. So we'll continue to do our burn. Just kind of keeping it on this blue dot here as it moves. The more I can do that, the more accurate it's going to be. Ten, six, and the less the less fuel it's going to take too. Three, whoops. All right, so that's zero. That's good. All right, so now I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to select this node here that's already gone away. We've already finished it off. I'm going to I'm going to get rid of it. 
All right, I don't need another one. And now it's going to select this one as our next maneuver. All right, so a minute and 55 seconds out, we're going to need to do this much delta V. So that's the biggest thing is you got to delete the one bef that you just performed. It's not going to delete it for you so that you can access to the next one. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. This one's a little more complicated because we're, you know, adjusting our orbit, our orbital plane. But it's it's pretty straightforward. This is just kind of planning out some of the things that I've been teaching you guys before. You know, where we would do various things like, uh, you know, our orbital cha plane change maneuvers and things along those nature. This is just planning it out, s out for us. You can also use this for docking. Works great. Um, those little two lines that, uh, I don't know if you saw, saw them before, the two little lines that line up. Um, you know, you can use those on your spaceship or your your, your uh, satellite or whatever you're trying to dock with your uh, station. Um, and you just get line them up and you know that you're you're on your way to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's see. I got a minute. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that'll be good. It says estimated burn time of a minute. I don't think that's actually going to be the case, but uh, let's go ahead and start our burn now. Yeah, that's a five second burn time. All right, there we go. That's the exact moment. Get rid of our speed. Or I should say, I sh should say uh, we do our orbital plane change. Um, do we get our intercept? Well, that is an intercept. That's our intercept point. Um, probably can do it better if I keep burning a bit. Yeah. Oh, we got to watch out for the moon. Get out of the way, moon. Get out of the way. <laughs> keep inter Stop. I don't want to intercept you. S no, I do not want to intercept the moon. There we go. Actually, I'm going to come back. I'm going to fly past. This is a good one. I fly past Minmus and then fly past the moon. And then, is that, an es is that a Kerbin escape? That's a Kerbin escape. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's probably the most inefficient Kerbin escape ever. But, anyways, we planned a double flyby inadvertently. Inadvertently, a double flyby, but that's okay. So, um,. I could I could go ahead and burn out my 8.8 .8 meters per second, um, but I'm not going to because I know there's some variations, and I'm going to look at this map and say, okay, the computer's calculated it for me. Um, of course, I'm way past my my burn point, um, and so I look at this. I got a perfect you know flyby of this. Got a perfect flyby of the moon. Going to leave the moon and everything. Um, and so I uh, hope this was helpful for you guys. You know, lots of lots of important information here um, that it's that you know. Uh, you know, it's a challenging thing to get to used to it, especially when you do um, uh, planetary, interplanetary travel. It makes it significantly harder. But if you practice this out, all of the steps are exactly the same. You know, for Duna, it's the exact same steps as for the Moon. For Eve, and it's you know, it's tilt for Dress, and with its you know, its orbital you know tilt, uh, Moho, the same thing. You all you need to do is you know perform a double stage where you're you're going to change your orbital stage, your orbital plane on your either your ascending node or your descending node, um, and then you're going to calculate that out. Now you're going to find out with planetary um, with planetary missions, you're going to find out that you're going to get that perfect intercept, and you're going to do your burn, and you just perfect burn, and you might still be off. Well, you just go down a couple of minutes and correct, and you might get three quarters through your through your orbit, and you find out that the computer lied to you, and now you're no longer on intercepts course. Just do another, you know, put it a few minutes out. Um, your your you know, your your next uh, maneuver plan, just change it back in. So you just do lots of those little ones, and of course you can always chain them together in case you have you know an issue where you just really messed up and now you need to do like 50 you know, 50 orbital maneuvers at the same time. But anyways, hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. Um, if I get a lot of comments on the same question, I'll probably do a follow-up video, um, and I'll probably do um, some other things to help you guys out um, and keep things in a nutshell. But anyways, in the meantime, hey, thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I'll see you guys next time.